Einen wunderschönen guten Tag, liebe Wrestlinginfos.de Talkfreunde. Zum zweiten Mal wieder hier auf der Gamescom und diesmal haben wir natürlich das Starpotenzial erweitert. Wir haben hier vier wunderbare Männer am Start. Ich fange mal an. Zu meiner Linken. Der Markus, Produzent. Und Yves Gnordic und quasi ja, Producer von dem, von dem Spiel. Soll man, äh, sorry. German or English? Soll man es. Warte mal, soll man es in Deutsch machen, wenn ich rede, oder soll ich auch soll man alles in Englisch machen? Also, ähm, schriftlich machen wir da eh alles beides, also... Okay, das heißt, Deutsch reicht, okay. Genau. Okay, dann sorry for German, I will often read the German. Okay, German. <lacht> so, to the next one. Legendary. Cold Cabana, I guess they call you Boo Boom these days. Boom, I am Boo, not these days, every day. Every day. Always, Boom Boom, Cold Cabana, great to be here. Boom Boom all the way. Boom, boom, all the way, yes. Pee, pee all day. <laughs> and there we have... We are so excited to meet you because if you look at this and his mustache, mm -hmm. it's, it not, it's, it's not growing that well. No, so, not at all. So, so at he all. wants some tips from you. Uh, you. If you want to be pretty like Peter, I expect, uh, you know, a little bit of hair growth stuff on that upper lip. So just get to it. They have it here in Germany, I think, right? Like, not, not, not everybody. His mom has. Oh. He don't. Oh, your mom has a mustache. That's terrible. All right. <laughs> so, pretty Peter Avalon. And last but not least, the man who is destined for Gamescom, I might say. Thank you. Formerly player Uno. Correct. Evil Uno. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm in my element, as you just said. Gamescom, very cool. Evil Uno, very cool. Yeah, right. And I also heard... Evil Uno is very hot in Germany. It's true. Uh, both in, in both senses of the word. I am sweating right now. I can't imagine under that mask. For the record, he asked, how are you? The answer is evil. You, you uh, messed that up. Dang. <laughs> dang. I'll, take, I'll take note for next time. Next time. So guys, we, we already had a chance to talk to Dave. And um, we were amazed by, by all the little details and all the passion put to the game. Did you already had the chance to, to play it a little bit? Uh, yes, I definitely have uh, put some time into our demo build that we have here at Gamescom. Uh, very, very happy to see the handcrafted animations and seeing uh, uh, what to me it feels like nostalgia, like uh, an engine built off the games that I loved uh, as, a, as a younger man. And uh, very excited just to see that arcade feel come back to the wrestling games. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I played for a little bit, a lot of fun. I lost. I lost already, so there's some uh, learning curve to it, but it's a lot of fun. I, I can relate to that. Yeah. I played as Adam Cole and got pinned by Thunder Rosa. I was Adam Cole and I got pinned by Kenny Omega, so maybe the don't pick Adam Cole. <laughs> uh, I actually played as Kenny Omega and I lost to Aubrey, so Whoa. yeah, <laughs> it was rough, but uh, I, it's impressive that she's so tough in the game. Yeah, but I, I think she's um, presented pretty heavily. So, um, yeah, she's the, she's the number one star of AEW, she's, and that's why we present her so heavily, of course. Exactly. So, um, you guys, what is your most favorite part of the game? Can we start in this order? Okay, I would say, um, I, I, well, first of all, the animation is very cool, and it gives it that old school throwback, so, like, I do feel that, but I know Uno said that, so I can't say it, so I'll say Justin Roberts. My good friend Justin Roberts, who I've known since I was 18 years old, to hear him uh, announce the competitors is so cool. I really like uh, the signatures. I like and like they were like they were saying the throwback controls, but it's like there's wait, is there you can get autographs in the game? Yeah, you can get like an autograph. Like the signature, the, 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 the signature maneuvers. Excuse me. It's fun that there's like a bunch of them. You know what I mean? As opposed to just one. You know, it's really cool. I think it's very neat to, uh, just to see Excalibur finally get the voice over a video game on top of everything. Me and I have a very storied uh, past together and he has a very long history with video games. So it's kind of neat to finally see him uh, uh, be involved in one. Uh, you know, I would have said the moves too, but we have, you know, we've, we've gone over there at that point. But yeah, it's very, very cool to see uh, my friend in the games. I can't imagine that. So um, s since you're... Um a gamer yourself, um, is there something um, you are intrigued about um, to see besides um, like the portfolio of THQ Nordic? Oh, uh, as far as at Gamescom, um, 
we were in the process of going to do this just beforehand, but I want to go play Gotham Knights. I'm a big, big Batman guy. To get my chance to play that game before it comes out is pretty big for me. Uh, I've also played some Pentiment at the Xbox booth. I would suggest playing that. That's a fun one. Uh, and I want to try Life of P, which is that uh, Bloodborne Pinocchio game. Yeah. Uh, those are kind of the ones that I have uh, on my table, uh, or as far as uh, my high, my sights for the next couple days. Good, good choice. Thank, Thank you. Choice. All right, there's a lot of cool games checking out, but there's something on Thursday that's like a, uh, a heavy metal concert with a bunch of different bands. It looks like something from Dark Tranquility, Arc Arch Enemy. So I think I'm going to check that out. That looks badass, a big metal that show. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds really cool. It's a pity that I'm just here today. Ah. Cool. Yes. Is there anything you, you're yes. very interested in? I'm about desperate in? to play this SpongeBob game right here. Oh, I'm too. And also, what is this called? Rat Quest? Breakfast. With, with rats. Rat, yeah, with rat 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 rat. That's what I was asking. There's a rat game, and I want to play it. Uh, I didn't yeah. <laughs> so we saw it in the THQ booth, but I think it's with a partner. But um, that for sure. And then also I saw who was it? Was a racer was doing a Fall Guys uh, at yeah. seven. Yeah. So I'm a ma I'm the master of Fall Guys. I'm the greatest professional wrestling Fall Guys player of all time. And so they're they're playing it over there at. Uh, I think five o'clock. So I plan on being there and dominating and showing everybody here at, that I'm the best. So and when you're um, back home, can uh, the fans expect you to play Fall Guys along on Twitch or? Yeah, I, I play on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I, pl I play it all the time and I'm the best. And I, uh, and I'm just, it's just, I'm, I'm the best. So it's not, they can expect it. They, they've, had, they've been watching it for years now, so. But uh, eventually we'll get that AEW Fall Guys crossover, and that's where when I'll, that's when I'll be. Hopefully, on. I would I would play Boom Boom all day. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, if I'm not mistaken, um, you guys um, will be heading into the ring um, over the next few days, and I guess I guess it's your Germany debut. It is. Yes, I've never been here, so I'm excited to be here, and uh, yeah stick around for a little bit. Um, did, did you um, ask your pals right here who have experienced uh, standing in a ring in Germany um, how it is? Absolutely crowd? not. I went to Google. Why would I talk? Why would I ask these nerds? I Googled what I needed to know. Like, come on. What was the answer? Huh? Well, was I, just, the answer? I just ended up asking them anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> He asked us how to use Google, actually. He didn't know. So how long has it been for you two that you stand it last time in the ring in Germany? Last time I came to Germany was uh, 2015. So seven years, right? 2020, yes, seven years. That, that's, that's a long time. Long it time. is a long time, it is a long time. So I think it's more than um, worthy to present it on the Gamescom. But we would love to see you also back in Germany, maybe in a German promotion or um, even better on a live event of AEW. Oh, uh, we would love to would you be that, down for that? Well, I mean, I I do not make the decisions as far as where AEW wrestles, but uh, if you want to get me on an independent show, you absolutely can. <laughs> All right. You yeah, down for that? yeah, yeah. In 2004, I came over and wrestled with WXW and wrestled with them for years. And, you know, uh, I got I wrestled Gunther when he was, I think, 17 years old. Uh, his name was Big Van Walter. and. Um, so I have, a, I have a storied history here in Germany, including, you know, uh, wrestling Robbie Brookside and Bad Bones and uh, just all the top European talent. So it's nice to be back here. Um, this time, I, I mean, I know it's not an AEW live show, but it's with AEW. And I think that's a cool place to, you know, especially for me, who has such a storied career, to be able to come back and, and be here in Germany, but be here with AEW representing the company and the video game. But um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I think we all we all travel around. That's the great thing about AEW is we're allowed to kind of do different ventures too. But the whole point is we represent the team and we re represent the company. So you guys seem to have a lot of fun right here. It's I, I've had it other ways. So um, I guess this is a really special occasion for you. So is is this something um, you could compare to um, experiences from the past? Honestly, no, this is a very unique experience because it's in a very unique place for me. And so this is just kind of one of a kind. I'm excited to be here and experience it. It's wonderful. And for me, uh, I mean, I've done uh, Comic Cons and anime, con anime conventions, but this will be my first gaming convention. And especially one of such stature, like 
Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is like a bucket list item for me. E3, uh, uh, Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show were like three things I wanted to do sometime in my life. So to not only be here, but also perform, uh, be it not only, and like represent AEW, represent our game, and also get to wrestle uh, at Gamescom is a very, very cool thing for me. So, guys, you've heard it. Um, <laughs> I was coming to you, go. <laughs> So, as I rudely interrupt the Colt Cabana, I want to give you the tip. No, 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 it's okay. Please. You didn't want to. I get it. Okay. This is weird. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where was I at? Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, right. What I wanted to ask: um, if the if the fans get their hands on the game, what would you tell them? to do right away. What? I got it, I got it. I got okay, it. okay. Play the game. Nailed it, nailed it. Well, Thank well, you. well, That's... unwrap it, open the box, oh. put it in the thing, you know what I mean? The whole, the whole deal, the yeah. whole deal. We'll definitely play it. Definitely yeah. play it. But so it, it, I guess we, we get an unboxing from you? Nice. All right, that's fine. You... He's got something <laughs> else in a box, now he's got a game in a box. That's right, <laughs> all about boxes. But that's not rated uh, M. If you do get the chance, uh, if we're, we're being serious and you get to play the game, uh, check out the signature maneuvers and the uh, the uh, finishers as well, because the, it's very varied. Uh, there's all or very varied. There's a lot of variety, uh, including like, if you see, especially if you come here to Gamescom and you get a chance to do it, check out uh, uh, Kenny Omega's move list because there is a lot more stuff than you would anticipate. Uh, you have the option to do all of his moves, his dragon suplex, multiple versions of V-Trigger, multiple versions of the One-Winged Angel. So I, I would recommend, if you have a favorite, pick your favorite, start looking at the move sets because they're all there. It's they're all lot. there. It's a lot to do, it's awesome. That's a good description, I would say. So, Thank you. last question for you, Cole. Yes. About the mini games, yeah. we, we hadn't had the chance to play them. Did you do, and how are they? They look fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a fun concept. And uh, I think it's so cool that, to add it into uh, the AEW game. So there's, a ge generically, yes, I played them. They're very fun. And it's just it's just cool that you can do, I guess, something different than just a match or a tag match or whatever it is. And I love the idea of it. So, yeah. I'm kind of cool. Yeah. What is your opinion on the game? I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely incredible going back old school to the best generations of wrestling games and uh, this looks like it's going to be like the next great wrestling game so can't wait for it to come out. I am too, I am too. You're standing too up high. <laughs> okay, cross body for the German fans. Do you, do you want to say something to the German fans? Uh, yes, you're all wonderful people and thank you for being such incredible fans of AEW Wrestling. <sighs> That's so heartwarming. You guys are so adorable. Specifically so, him. Yeah. Pretty. So, I guess I, um, I got enough of your time. Gentlemen, I thank you very much thank you. for having us and I hope you have a great time here at the convention. Explore some games, have fun in the ring, and hopefully soon come back to Germany. Yes, hopefully soon, and uh, enjoy the game when it comes out. Can't wait to be back. So, guys, do you want to pop your social medias? Uh, sure. You can find me Evil Uno on every single thing. Every single thing. Every. Just Google Angelico. Stuff will turn up. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Pavilon. Instagram.com slash PPA. All day. At Colt Cabana. One thing for you, do you know that we in Germany have, um, it, it's like a hazelnut schnapps. It's called Angelico. Is it really? Yeah. So, so if you Google in, in Germany Angelico, you'll get this drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>